When you live in a country like the United Kingdom, which is generally quite accepting of LGBT people, you can sometimes find yourself getting a little complacent. With a score of 86%, the United Kingdom was recently ranked as the best country in Europe when it comes to LGBTI equality. Scotland alone received a score of 92% because it makes specific provisions for protections against discrimination for intersex people. So generally, the United Kingdom is a pretty good place to live for people who don't identify as heterosexual or cisgender. Now recently, I read the following headline. Jersey and Guernsey could have same-sex marriage by 2017. Now, if you didn't know, Jersey, Guernsey, and the Isle of Man are small islands within the British Isles. Technically, they are not constitutionally part of the United Kingdom, nor are they members of the Commonwealth or even the European Union. They are what is known as British Crown Dependencies, and internationally, they are regarded as territories for which the United Kingdom is responsible. So they're kind of like the geopolitical equivalent of foster kids. Now, since they're not actually part of the United Kingdom, they don't necessarily share all the same laws that we have here in the UK. So I wondered to myself, what is the state of LGBT rights in the British Crown Dependencies? And wow. Just wow. Wikipedia informs me that LGBT rights in the Isle of Man have become substantially more liberal since the early 1990s. Wow, that sounds pretty great. Substantially more liberal is generally the kind of thing you want to hear when it comes to gay rights. So how are things for gay people in the Isle of Man? Wikipedia continues. However, same-sex marriage is not permitted and some acts of male homosexuality remain a criminal offence. What? So I took a gander at the section regarding sexual activity and found the following. Section 9 of the Sexual Offences Act 1992 continues to apply the criminal law to some unnatural offences between men. Subsections 1 and 4 make buggery and gross indecency between men offences if one or both of the parties is under 16 and also if the acts are committed elsewhere than in private. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Jacob, that's kind of weird. Because generally public sexual activity is a crime whether it's homosexual or heterosexual. What gives? Well, section 10 of the Sexual Offences Act states the following. An act shall not be treated as done in private if it is done where more than two persons are present. <laughs> what? Hang on, let me get this straight. Aside from the general illogic of suggesting that things can't be done in private if more than two people are present, that three people can't do something in private, what kind of batshit backwards ass law is that? You're telling me that male homosexual three ways are a criminal offence on the Isle of Man. Not heterosexual three ways. Not lesbian three ways. Not heterosexual orgies or lesbian orgies. But gay three ways? And gay orgies? That's just gross indecency. This boggles my mind. This means that in the Isle of Man, you could literally have an orgy, including both men and women, where men are fucking women, women are fucking men, and women are fucking women, scissoring, fucking each other with strap-ons, all good, it's all fine. But if one man is feeling a little bit adventurous, reaches out and tries to give his mate a handy, that's crossing the line. It would be illegal for two men to be fucking each other, and there'd just be another man standing there, just watching. Just eating a Mars bar or summer. What the f- <laughs> What on earth? This is so bizarre and super homophobic. Technically, it's gay men ophobic because lesbians are fine. Lesbians fucking each other? That's not gross indecency. That's art. Two women exploring their bodies with each other. With Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl playing softly in the background. That's not gross. It's beautiful. Hang on, is Keith tickling Mark's balls? For the love of God, somebody call the police. But wait. There's more. Of course there's more. Why wouldn't there be? Reading from an article entitled Homosexual Offences and Human Rights in Isle of Man on Juris.org, the 1992 Act also maintains a total prohibition on homosexual sex aboard merchant ships. What? The provisions that partially decriminalize buggery and gross indecency do not apply to members of crew aboard a Manx merchant ship. Merchant ship means any ship registered on the Isle of Man that is habitually used for the purposes of carrying passengers or goods. Any consensual act of buggery or gross indecency between adult men serving as crew on a Manx merchant ship will therefore constitute a criminal offence. So again, they have a law that specifically targets male homosexuality, this time regarding members of the crew aboard Manx merchant ships. So heterosexual sex between members of the crew on a Manx merchant ship, that's fine. Might get you fired, but it's not a crime. Lesbians scissoring on the starboard bow, again, might get you fired, but that's not a crime. But if Graham wants to lick Ted's balls aboard the SS fuck common sense, that is a crime? How is it substantially different? Why is a male member of the crew aboard a 
Manx merchant ship sticking his dick into another male member of the crew's arse. Substantially different to a male member of the crew aboard a Manx merchant ship sticking his dick into a female member of the crew's arse. Why does that necessitate criminal charges? Of course we know why male homosexuality is being targeted here. Heterosexuals fuck each other all the time and enjoy it, so that's okay. And lesbians, oh lesbians, that's not gross indecency. That's beautiful. Straight Manx men love lesbians. But two men? Fucking each other? Ugh, that's disgusting. We can't have that. We'll allow it on land between two men, not three, but two. And definitely not on a boat. That's crossing a line. This makes no sense whatsoever. None. It's utterly ridiculous and unnecessary. And Guernsey isn't much better. Guernsey still requires male homosexuality to be carried out in private. Although it doesn't have the ridiculous definition of private as anything involving more than two people. But the point is it's still targeting male homosexuals. And again, for some reason, Guernsey also has a weird problem with male homosexuality on merchant ships. Specifically stating that male homosexuality committed by members of the crew on a Guernsey ship constitutes grounds for dismissal. You would think that fucking at work is considered grounds for dismissal no matter what gender you are. But no, just male homosexuals. Jersey, for some reason, doesn't have any of these ridiculous laws. It's just the Isle of Man and Guernsey. But the point is, there are still places within the British Isles where certain homosexual acts are a crime. And that is fucking insane. Isle of Man, Guernsey, get your shit together. What the fuck? And yay for gay marriage in Guernsey and Jersey. Go Channel Islands. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. See you later.